Morning guys. How's everybody this morning? So for today, we're going to continue on the second type of rock, sedimentary rock. As I already told you guys yesterday, okay? And a weathered material. Weathered material mainly from igneous rock or it can be from sedimentary rock or it can be from a metamorphic rock. As long as that you have a material, that material is a mineral, that mineral is a substance that is crystallized, then with this material, you, after a period of time, they are consolidated, okay? it is compacted, consolidated, and crystallized. So when it's crystallized, you get sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock formed from sediments which has been transported and deposited. Also from remains of plants, animals, and which have been liquefied under tremendous heat and pressure of overlying sediments or by chemical reactions. Origin salt particles result from decay of rock masses or from chemical precipitates. Uh, deposit in sediments basin in increasing thickness eventually liquefied into rock strata from heat pressure, cementation, and recrystallizations. So it's recrystallizations. The process um, in rock decay or weathering, okay, you lower, you have, you have two types of process. First is mechanical weathering. Uh, mechanical weathering is rock mass is broken into fragment as joints um, react to freeze and thaw cycles in cold climates. Then you have expansion and contractions and the expansive power of tree roots as well. So any sort of mechanical uh, kind of a mechanism that going to cause the weathering process. When the weathering process happened, then you're going to have that all small pieces is actually broken down. That is mechanical weathering. Then you have another one is chemical weathering. In chemical weathering, the rock mass is acted upon chemical by substance dissolved in water such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, and weak acids, causing the conversions of silicate oxides and sulfates into newer compounds such as carbonate hydroxide as well as sulfates. Moving on, um, rock decay or weathering. So material resulting, the residue can include rock fragments of various size consisting essential of an alter rocks. It can be the same rock. Particles of various size consist of uh, materials resistant to chemicals, the composition size as quartz, you know that quartz is the most uh, common minerals uh, in soil okay? as well as rocks uh, and clay and collect particles which are insoluble product of chemical decomposition of less resistant rocks such as feldspar as well as mica. Okay? okay, transport and depositions. So you have plastic sediments. So plastic sediments is basically by the uh, mechanical. So remember that you have got two types. First mechanical and another one is chemical. Particle produced of weathering are transported primarily by flowing of water to be deposited eventually in the large uh, water bodies or basins. Okay? Product generally segregated by size, boulder, cobalt, pebbles, granular, granules, silt, tansit and clay. So wind currents provide transport for finer sands as well as sinks. Say by the flowing of water, okay, so the water is actually, um, water is part of the uh, weathering agent, okay. So when it's part of weathering agent, it's actually going to deposit that minerals from one point to another point. In chemical precipitates, non electricals and uh, materials are carried in solution of flowing water to the sea or other other large water body where the precipitates from solutions. And chemical pre precipitates include um, immersed thickness of marine carbonates, uh, you have limestones, dolomites. So in uh, and in the less abundance, uh, evaporites, gypsum, anhydride, and halides. In addition to being formed from physical physical chemical process, many non-dedical rocks are from 
from the dissolved matter precipitates into the sea by physiological activity of living organisms. Okay, litrifications. Uh, rock formed by litrification, which occur as thickness of the overlying minerals increase. So the detritus of precipitates become converted into rocks by compaction. The deposition of cementing agent into pore space and physical and chemical change in the constituents at a greater depth. Consolidation by cementation is a common process caused by increase in the chemical activity of um, interstitial water that occurs in the increase in temperature associated with that. Okay, classifications. So classifications, um, you have the typical groups, okay, classic sediments. Uh, classified by particle size. Main idea is particles. Why? Because it is a mechanical process. As it's a mechanical process, so it is classified by its particle size. So you have conglomerate, sandstone, siltstones, as well as shales. So non critical group, this is the chemical weathering. So the top part is the mechanical weathering, and this one is the chemical weathering okay the bottom is chemical weathering so in chemical weathering it includes chemical precipitates organic chemical uh, precipitates are classed by texture fabric as well as composition and most of the time um, it is actually uh, been differentiated based on its compositions because it's more towards chemical process uh, difficult groups and this is classification by its size, right? So you have conglomerates, you have boulders more than 256 millimeter diameter. So you have cobbles, you have pebbles, you have granules. So, and this one uh, composition seems as rock source. So along the stream's bottom, seldom found in rock masses, along stream bottoms, deposit in alluvial fans, and in river channels for cobbles, uh, as for also deposit in the beach, uh, as well as for pebbles and sands. So this is actually classified based on the diameter, okay, in millimeter. This is classification of non nutritional groups. So in classification in non nutritional groups, you can see in here you have the rock type. So you have a rock type. You have limestones, you have chalk, dolomite, gypsum, anhydrite, halite, and coal. So this is the material. Calcium precipitates, okay, calcium. <laughs> then this is saline precipitates, you have the salts. And coal is basically organics. So the materials, the origin materials, the minerals that actually create this coal is from organics. Compositions. Uh, massive cell types, okay. So, and cemented shells, dolomite, gypsums, any hydrides, and this one is deposited environments. So, where they actually deposits. So, no questions. So, if no questions, um, we're going to continue next week. And later next week, I'm going to talk more about. Uh, metamorphic rock. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. This is an example of mechanical weathering by wind. So this is sandstone at uh, Navajo, Arizona. So this is actually a national park.